everyone it's Shelby here welcome back to a little literary love I'm glad you all are with me today's video is gonna be another recommendations video and I thought this was the perfect time to do this type of video because it is June it is pride month I am wearing my um, LGBTQ readers club t-shirt that I love um, and yeah I'm gonna be recommending some of my favorite male male romances and hopefully after this month I will have even more favorites to add to this list and hopefully I'll have some sapphic romances I only have a couple like favorite sapphic romances that's something that I'm wanting to read more of this month and hopefully get some good recommendations for you at some point on sapphic romances but first we're gonna start with the male male romances um, so this list I kind of organized it from low steam to and it kind of gradually goes up in steam level um the first two books that I'm going to recommend basically have like no steam or very 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 little steam um first one isn't even a adult romance book um I'm going to recommend The Heart Heartstopper by Alice Oseman this is actually a YA contemporary romance something sort of around there um there is a netflix series now after this and this is also a graphic novel which my edition i actually like painted because i just i wanted to um but yes it is a graphic novel um this is about these two teens they are in i think like england somewhere they are going to a school like a boarding school of sorts um we have charlie who is this character um he is openly gay um and he gets picked on a lot for that um he gets bullied and then we have nick who is our other character and he's just kind of like the all around nice guy they get paired up in one of their classes to be like partners and they strike up this friendship and then as time goes on it slowly develops into more this is honestly one of the cutest and most just like truly sweet stories I loved that they were friends first and then Nick decides like he's starting to realize that maybe he's not just straight maybe he likes guys too and just kind of a journey of self-discovery for Nick and figuring out who he is um and then also just their like budding romance throughout the series this is one out of I think there's like four or five of these um it's just truly beautiful and just just so freaking sweet and I love this story then we have The Charm Offensive by Alison Cochran. This is a recent read for me um, and I just absolutely love this. It is adult romance um, but it is still pretty low on the steam. It's I listened to this on audiobooks so I think the steam is more um, just little snippets and then mostly like closed door like steam. So typically like not what I typically go for but I did certainly really like this story um this one we have charlie another charlie character he is going to be the star of a reality tv show that is pretty similar to the bachelor and he's doing this because he um is wanting to he got ostracized from the tech company and he is wanting to get back into business um and he's wanting to do this to show that he can work with people um and then we have dev who is a producer on this show and is tasked to be charlie's like handler to help him through the process of the show and Dev really really believes in love believes that the two characters like the two people that end up together at the end of the show truly love each other will be together forever um, so he's kind of his head's a little bit in the clouds doesn't needs to come down to reality a little bit um, but he's also getting over a breakup the reason why I love this story and really recommend it to people is number one it's a great queer romance there's lots of talks in here about um, sexual identity just because like Charlie was before didn't necessarily think that he was attracted to people was potentially thinking that he was asexual but then he's starting to feel attraction towards Deb um, 
And there's lots of good conversations in here about that. Number two, why I really like this, it has really great mental health representation. So Charlie suffers from OCD, panic disorder, and anxiety. And then Deb also suffers from depression. So there's really great talks in here about mental health, um, which I loved, absolutely loved. And then their story was just absolutely adorable. I fell in love with these two characters and I fell in love with their progression of their love story throughout this. Um, Charlie is such a cinnamon roll character character and I absolutely love him and he's just absolutely adorable. So I really like this one and really recommend this one. Then we have Wolf Song by TJ Klune. Um, this is the first book of a series. I've only actually read this one, but this was a pretty unique. It's very character driven instead of plot driven. So I know some people don't always like this, but this is a paranormal romance. Um, this is a friends to lovers. We have Ox. Um, he's been kind of like his dad isn't very good to him um thinks he's like stupid um calls him names that kind of thing and there's this family that comes into town and immediately this little boy i think there's like six years difference, five years difference between Ox and this younger boy. And uh, this little boy immediately comes up to Ox, starts talking to him, thinks that they're best friends. And he comes to find out that this little boy had previously not spoken a single word for, I think, a couple of years. Um, then it turns out that they realize that this family is wolf shifters. There's some things that go down and the little boy, as he's getting older, he has to go away to seek revenge for something that happened um and then he comes back and then when he comes back ox and i think his the little boy's name is J joe yes joe start to realize that they have more than just friendship feelings for each other that they could potentially love each other um this was a beautiful story i loved the progression of um their love story it is definitely a slow burn romance um there's definitely some trigger warnings in here there's some um more heavier things that they have to deal with but just the two of them together is very beautiful and i really enjoyed this one now we're getting into more steam. Um, most of the rest of these have pretty good steam to them. The very last one that I'm going to recommend is probably, I would say out of all of these, the steamiest. Um, so first up, we have Fired Up by Riley Hart. I recommended this in, I think, another video of mine because this is a firefighter romance. Um, this is another sort of friends to lovers. Um, we have one hero who is a fire fighter in a small town and then we have another hero who went and played some sort of sport I think football maybe but he is seen as kind of like a playboy and he did some things that he probably shouldn't have so he's needing to like lay low he's back into the small town and back to see his old friend that they kind of had a crush on each other but he wasn't really wanting to admit it, um, but flames start, sparks kind of start, and they kind of start to rekindle a bit of a romance. Um, this is also a little bit of a like grumpy sunshine type of romance, and it was really cute and steamy, and I really enjoyed it. Then we have Worship by Ellis James. Um, this is part of a, I don't know if this is a duet anymore. I think she's written, or he, excuse me, um, has written a few more stories or like books in this series. I'm not really sure, but it starts with Worship. Um, and this is about this man. He is on a, his yacht or boat or something. Um, he's very rich and he rescues this other man who was, um, basically abandoned on a, um, island. Um, cause I think he was taking maybe a cruise or some sort of something um and they left him there so he gets rescued by this man and they are very attracted to each other um but then it turns out that this ends up being a forbidden romance turns out this rich man is actually an a televised evangelic 
Evangelicus, Evangelicus, I think I'm saying that correctly. Um, so it's very forbidden and taboo for them to be together, but it was really good and steamy and I really liked this duet. Um, and yeah, then I have Him by Serena Bowen and Elle Kennedy. This is the first of two books that I have by this author duo to recommend. This is a sports romance. I think it's hockey romance. Um, it's kind of a friends to rivals slash enemies to friends slash lovers kind of romance. Um, our two characters were friends when they were younger um, and then they end up kissing and it um, scared one of the guys and then he went off and they kind of dissolved their their friendship and now they're in college they're on rival teams um, they are kind of butting heads a little bit and then they end up becoming coaches at this summer camp for like a sports summer camp and they have to coach together and those um, sparks that they started to have when they were younger um, when they were friends start to come up again um, and there's, you know, things that they have to deal with with that. So I really enjoyed this one. And then I also really enjoyed the next book by this author duo that's going to be Top Secret. Um, this is, I don't think this is sports romance. Um, this is um, college. Um, these two characters are roommates. One of the characters, he has a girlfriend and she is wanting to spice up their sex life um by doing like a threesome with another guy and so he's kind of like yeah sure we can try that whatever so then he gets on this dating app to try to find somebody to be their third and he starts talking with this guy um and realize they start like talking and doing some like dirty things and he starts to realize that maybe he's not straight maybe he likes men too or at least this one man that he's talking to um and lo and behold this other man that he's talking to happens to be his roommate that he does not like they do not get along together um they outright really hate each other and so it kind of adds to like the angst and like the forbiddenness of the story and it was just very steamy and very good then I have Don't You Dare by C.E. Ritchie. This is a friends to lovers sports romance again. I believe this is another hockey romance. I'm a big hockey romance fan, so there you go. Um, these two characters, like I said, they've been friends forever. And they are doing this like truth or dare kind of thing where they get dared to kiss each other. And after they kiss, they kind of start to realize that, oh, well, maybe we're kind of also attracted to each other. So they continue doing dares. Um, one of the characters didn't think that he was bisexual or into guys. So he's wanting to try to experiment um, and see if it was just like a one off or it's actually true. And the other friend is like, hey, I want you being safe. I don't want you just hooking up with these random guys. So you should experiment with me to make sure that you stay safe and figure out what you like. And they of course fall in love and it's so good. I loved their chemistry together. This has a lot of dirty talk in it, which I loved. Um, I loved that their relationship, how it started as friends, just continued to blossom into lovers. Like they had such a good connection even before they became lovers. And this was just, it was very beautiful and I loved it. And then the last one that I have to recommend, which I, like I said, is probably the steamiest on here is going to be Saint by Sierra Simone. This is part of her, I don't remember what this series is called, um, but it's got priest, priest, sinner, and then saint. Um, technically you could read this one as a standalone. You don't necessarily have to read the other ones to understand what's going on in this one, but I would still recommend reading the other ones because I love the other ones too. Um, but this one specifically is a forbidden romance between, and this is also a second chance romance. Um, this is about our one character. He is actually 
a monk or at least in like the process of becoming a monk and then his ex-boyfriend is a um, journalist and he is going to the mon monastery I think where he is at because they make I think it's beer um so he's going there to write an article about these monks that are making beer um and while he's there the sparks kind of start to return between the two of them um this if you haven't read a Sierra Simone book um most of Sierra Simone's books are very emotional um this one is no exception it is a very emotional type of story there's lots of trigger warnings with mental health um with depression and attempted suicide um our one character who is going through the process of becoming a monk also has um lost his sister to suicide um, so there's lots of heavy topics that are talked about in this one um, and then because it's like a second chance too that also adds to the emotion and the angst of the story um, of these two characters rekindling their love and this is honestly just one of the most beautiful stories. Um, I love Sierra Simone's writing. I can't recommend her enough. If there's a video that I have recommendations for, if I can put a Sierra Simone book in there, I'm definitely going to. And since this is male meal, I just, I loved it. Um, and then the steamy scenes in this were top-notch, very steamy type of steam to make you blush. Definitely do not read this one in public. Um, but yeah, so those are going to be all my recommendations for male male romances that you should check out. Um, make sure to leave a comment down below with some of your favorite male male romances that I need to check out because I'm always in the hunt for more of these romances. Um, make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already if you enjoy my content. I really appreciate appreciate it. Otherwise, I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.